Two coffin cheater bikies have walked free from the Supreme Court after WA's corruption watchdog dropped a contempt case against them. The two men were accused of failing to answer questions about a brawl in which three members of a rival gang were seriously injured. Benjamin Orton and David Reid would almost certainly have been jailed if they were convicted of contempt of the Corruption and Crime Commission. Can you say anything about the dropping of the charges at all? No, thanks. But instead, they walked free from court after the case was dropped. Well, you must be relieved those charges were dropped. The two coffin cheaters had been called before a secret hearing of the Triple C to answer questions about a fight between their gang and the Finks at the Quinana Motorplex in October. At least three Finks were injured, including one who had to have one of his fingers reattached. Five Finks members were also called before the Triple C, but they refused to answer questions. Mr Wallace, are you a member of the Finks Motorcycle Club? I've been advised by my lawyer. I don't have to comment. Nothing to say. They were convicted of contempt and jailed for two years. One got an extra three months for insulting Commissioner Len Robert Smith. Not an answer to the question. I require you to answer the question and give a truthful answer to it. No comment. Get the f off. The case against the coffin cheaters was slightly different because they were accused of failing to answer questions truthfully. It was alleged Mr Orton said he couldn't recall the fight, while Mr Reid was accused of being evasive because he testified the brawl could have been the two bikey gangs dancing. The men were to have faced trial, but at the start of proceedings, the Triple C's lawyer said it was dropping the case. The decision was made after a request for the Triple C to provide the coffin cheaters' lawyers with CCTV footage and photographs of the brawl. The Triple C argued the material was operational and shouldn't be made available. The two men were each awarded what's understood to be thousands of dollars in court costs. Joanna Manar, ABC News.